Good morning, everybody. It is Good 10, morning. 19 a.m., which is uh, maybe close to our a record for earliest recording start time in history which of Lu Luckless Lovelock's recordings. <laughs> which means I'm barely awake. Yeah. He has been awake for over an hour, though. That's pretty impressive. I bet. So, um, I bet. Can we put some finger snaps in the comments for Luckless? Finger that snaps? Be... Yeah, you know, like when you go to like a bougie poetry reading, you know, you know how one does that. I've never really done. I've done that a couple times. I've went to one poetry By accident. reading in my life. Yeah, I thought it was a music show. It wasn't. Ah, okay. A lot of snapping happened. So I uh, went back and watched the uh, one of the cutscenes with the Emperor when he was explaining his past to us, assuming he's telling the truth. True. Because we kind of we we didn't play for a few days. We kind of lost some 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 knowledge, you know. No. Um, so he, he was the one that was like established this shield organization that was supposed to, you know, protect Baldur's Gate. Uh, so the stuff that we read was all about shield, uh, well, not to be it. confused with the MCU shield organization. What right. are you doing? I'm listening to you. Just focus on your task and I'll focus on mine. <laughs> what is your task? What are you doing? Okay. So as odds flying around, um, and Duke Stalmane, the the woman who we are investigating, who was murdered in the tavern, that was like her, his helper, like his confidant, his our mind flayer emperor. Yeah, is what he's referring to. His right his now. his lover, possibly, but maybe he was feeding off her too. Remember they they said that. Uh, and really, what's the difference? You know. I see the type of relationship you have. Okay. Just feeding <laughs> off of your partner. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, but remember, um, Will said that she was like, his father said that she was struggling, recovering from a stroke or something. Yeah. So there's something, there's something unknown about that. Are you, or can yeah. we play? What's going I'm, on? I'm waiting for you to finish your I'm ready. knowledge drop. Yeah. So that's it in a nutshell. Okay. I, that was. He typed it out on Discord yesterday. It was much cooler than what was just explained. My old home. Thank you for bringing me back. Look around. You'll find some of my things still intact. Perhaps even useful to you. Dude, like, look at some of my cool spells. Look at me right now. Look at this. How cool is that? Yep. <laughs> you idiots. All of these weaklings around me. There's a sword of the emperor here, which is very tempting to touch, but I feel like maybe I shouldn't touch that. Oh. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch it. Sword of the emperor. My old sword. Oh damn. My first purchase. Oh damn. As an adventure. No use to me anymore. It's yours if you want it. I found a recipe for fiddlehead soup. Um, who d who uses long swords in this group? Actually, I think Asterion might. It has to be um, like a finesse weapon. Why isn't it, it doing be, anything? I'm clicking on this. It has this. to be a finesse weapon. For him. Uh, yes, uh. Uh, why does it have to be finesse? Soup. A favorite meal of mine. When I had need of meals like that. Uh, that way it'll use his dexterity modifier instead of his uh, strength uh, modifier okay. for damage. Okay, okay. You I think it. the one you're using now is, ver yeah, finesse versatile. Yeah, and it's better. Um, can anyone use the sword of the emperor? Like, can we throw that over on um, Shadowheart or something? Like, this feels cool. We should use this. What's what, what's so good about it? Like, it, it just seems cool. It's the it's the it's his sword, man. My own sword. My first purchase. Has Whatever. Been don't use it if you don't want to. You know. No use. Magical durability. Will there has a plus two bonus to saving throws against spells? Something over here. Oh, it's good against uh, shapeshifters. A keepsake from my final voyage. Pinched in a moment of sentimentality. My old Oh my god. My that is so cool. We are what we appear to be. And so appearances matter. Can you change yourself? Change your look. Okay, so cerebral citadel armor. It's heavy armor, which kind of sucks, but oh, okay, okay. It Shadow does have illithid protection. So if the wearer is infested by a mind flayer tadpole, which I happen to have a few of those, mm -hmm. you gain plus one intelligence, wisdom, and charisma saving throws. 
uh, disadvantage on stealth checks. And it's an AC 12, which is pretty sick. Um, AC 12 for heavy armor? Uh, sorry, AC 18. I was okay, my, okay, my okay, old okay. one. Which is pretty cool. Um, and then we have Cerebral Citadel Gloves, Illithid mm -hmm. Euphoria, Charm or Frighten a Creature to gain a 1d4 bonus to attack rolls and saving throws. Seems pretty cool. But uh, now I then I would have to replace my missile snaring. Do I think wear these? the armor could be worn by Shadowheart. Cause she can wear heavy armor. Let me send it to her. And the gloves? Meh. Do you need good gloves or? I got good gloves. I'll send I have the gloves of dexterity. What is he wearing? Oh, yeah, he's got these mage hand as a bonus action, which we never use. And telekinesis, which we did use that one time. Right. Meh. I hate picking up gear when it, and it's not, like, better than everything else that we have. You know what I mean? <laughs> is that just me? Yeah, it's like... It's okay. Okay, what is... Does it actually increase my AC? What's so special about this frickin' fork? <laughs> There's gonna be some memory associated with it. This is the I fork I... A gift from my mother. The butter knife is missing, but... Otherwise, it looks to be complete. I don't need it anymore, but... The memory stirs something in me still. It's what I used to use to eat brains. Yoink. It's mine now. Stelmane's portrait. Yeah, partner. So that's the one that was murdered in the tavern. Yeah, and understand. there's blood everywhere. Uh, also, there's all these brain all jars, memories. empty brain jars. Phew. Yeah, we should. I imagine I we would find a, uh, a tadpole in here. Hmm. Maybe he was experimenting on her with the tadpoles. Oh. That's why they're there. Experimenting know. on her? Yeah, like trying to figure out how to turn her into an illithid, maybe? The chains, the chains are used to The chains, the chains. Okay. Villains and lawbreakers. You see, I tried to exercise morality where I could. Or maybe he kept their brains in jars and just... Yeah, I think he's testing on consume them. Consume them later. Because he's obviously a really nice guy, you know? That's curious. Has no moral <laughs> questionability. I don't container for brains. Empty. Shame. It would have been nice to find one to sustain me now. You're just a you're an you're a mind flayer illithid supporter. You're literally and, turning into one. And I like to question things. I yeah, no, like no, no. I'm I'm with you. I'm with you. Like it could be that he wants he's using us to get power for sure. Oh, totally. Oh, hey, hello. Scroll of Conjure Elemental. Cool. Uh, we have a couple of those already. Like we have those. Spells. We can just we can just summon them. Yeah, I have one with me somehow right now, but he's not here. Oh, yeah, where'd he go? Really. He's, uh, he wasn't grouped, so he should come now. He's actually stuck in that room, I think. He's huge. He's huge, man. He's huge, eh? Just a huge little summon over there, eh? Keep your stick on the ice, bud. <laughs> Extremely Canadian today. Yeah, well, I was in Saskatchewan for a few right. days. So that, like, can't get really, more... In Regina, can't get more really Canadian. Really drives it home. All right, let's see what's uh, down here. Yeah, okay. Coming. The Coming sewers. Here. Lower city sewers. You can't have a game like this without sewers, man. You know, funny enough, we haven't been in a lot of sewers. Mm -hmm. So, look at all these chests. Did we ever hear anything about the, um, about the weapons in the prison? Uh, I, th I think it might happen later. I'm gonna guess. Oh, okay. Someone mentioned something in the comments, but it, w it wasn't clear to me what they meant. How come I can't reach this? Invasion no plans. Map the sort of coast from the sea of moving ice down to just north of Am, including several of the nearer archipelagos. Archipel? How do you pronounce that? Archipelagos? Archipelagos? In the Sea of Swords. Why would 
invasion. Okay. Seems weird to me that they'd have invasion plans here, but. Well, it's a sewer. Like, you, you know, the Ninja Turtles would be planning. Can you get this box? Oh. Silver, Silver key. key using magic pockets. I don't know. Okay, cool. Can you um, grab this trunk? For some reason, it says I can't reach it. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't reach it either. Oh, okay. I was trying to, like, move it, but I couldn't do that either. Well, if you can't reach it to... to, to search it, you probably couldn't reach it to move oh, it. Oh, well, right? uh, there's probably a really cool oh there okay. empty. great that's that's <laughs> weird because i went up there before and uh, couldn't reach it oh did you read this um patient log no 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 it's not a journal stamp with the official seal of duke bellin stelmane appears to be an attendance log of the care given during the duke's ongoing illness so you read you you shared something about um she had what was it again uh, Will's dad said that she had recovered from a stroke, but he stroke, wasn't sure right. of that. Right. It seems suspicious. Yeah. So um, this is a log that happened during the Duke's ongoing sickness. The most recent entries detail a deterioration in the Duke's condition. Can't explain the relapse. Duke, Duke lacks appetite, awareness, or interest in anything. It's kind of like you. Occasionally asks after the visitor, hell, what did I do which to you? I suspect might be cause of current condition. Uh, Duke used to receive visitor in private every 10 day, always hooded and cloaked, always shown in and left to attend Duke privately. So that's got to be the emperor, right? Because he started as like a little rogue dude. Mm -hmm. um, no luck in finding, oddly enough, can't recall visitors' gender or even stature. Could be half-orc or halfling, for all I know. Hoping for their return, visits appeared to ease the Duke's mind and body greatly. So that's... Okay, that's a plus one for, for the Emperor in my book. Okay. So Emperor not feeding on her. No, no, he's he's helping her. There's a vent Noxious underneath fumes. this. Okay. Just so you know. Uh, there's another one over there. Okay. Man, it must suck to be like so mortal. Let's see you guys. Yeah, it really does suck. Okay, there's more there. Okay, you figure out the noxious fumes and I'll be exploring this area. Oh, that's cute. Nice little uh Heapside Barracks cells. I've got an entry to the Heapside Barracks cells here. Nice. I'm going in. Uh, what the hell? I'm dumb. Okay, I have a giant elemental here with me. And there's a steel watcher over here that I can talk to. They're not hostile. But I do feel like if they see me down here, they're going to be like, Hey, um, excuse me? There's a manhole to where? Oh, okay. It's a lever, too. So I'm just coming back here. Are you interested in... Ah, um... I turned off the uh, traps. Oh, nice. Do we know anything about the, the, the Heapside Prison? Heapside Prison doesn't sound familiar to me now. Yeah, weird, because I'm in one. There's some stuff on the on the side here that you missed. I kind of want to go talk to these guys, but I feel like they're going to just be like, what are you doing down here? Oh, cool. There's like a sewer entrance. That's where I am, dude. Uh Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just popped in. Like... This is what, yeah. This okay, is, this is yeah. what you're talking about. Okay. So pop in there and, let, and take a look. Yeah. I was trying to think like where are we here? We're like we were went in we we're like the in the middle of this lower city, right? And then we went down. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know where that is in relation to anything else. Really. So this is a different prison. Correct. And they're not hostile. Like we could talk to them. But like I just feel like they're gonna be like what the hell are you guys doing down well, here? Well, save it and go talk to them. I hate saving and then trying stuff because I'm like, I feel I like... I know, I know. Well, we're not actually going to load. Okay. Perception successful. Hold on. A hole. 
I'm way too big. Okay, hold on. Yeah, holding. Okay, do I morph for this? I guess so. Let's just see where this leads. To the other side of that wall, I assume. Um, where's the kitty cat? <laughs> just leads me over to this other cell. I can talk to the rat. Let's talk to Skittle. A new client? What a thrill. For you? Ratterly. Get it. <laughs> Some call me the Great Collector. Others, the Merchant of Mysteries. But you, my friend, you can call me Skittle. Step up and marvel at the spectacular wonders on offer. Uh, I don't know. Human. Would a rat make rat puns? Like, do you make human puns to people? Well, like I'm human if, if, I was talking to, if I was talking to another species, I might. Okay. I'd be like, wow, I'm human guess. No? Uh, what sort of items does a great collector collect? <laughs> Artifacts most priceless. Should one call a prison his home? The prison's pipes are a veritable maze of cracks and crannies. What a rat finds, a rat keeps. Captives have wants and needs. It is my pleasure, nay, my duty, to fulfill them. So this would be where uh, Emperor would get his food. That's why there's a connection here, probably. Oh, yeah. He's to his lair. Yeah, he would just come in here and grab a dude. Or do that. A mercantile rodent? How ratical. Indeed, my mirthful mate. Care to take a squeak at my fan ratstical wares? <laughs> oh, he's really stretching on some of these. Do we just... I'm just going to go down the pun line here. Yep. Uh, Pun sewer. It must be difficult to obtain goods in a prison. What does that entail? The prison's pipes are a veritable maze of cracks and crannies. What a rat finds, a rat keeps. Captives have that. wants and needs, my puntiful patron. It is my pleasure, nay, my duty, to fulfill them. Couldn't we just take his wares? It's not like he's got pockets. <laughs> What's for sale? I'd like to take a squeak. Oh, he actually does have universal resistance. I will buy this. Dimension door, scroll of fireball, scroll of knock, scroll of invisibility, oil flask. Counting house safe number two key. Yeah, I'll buy that. Oh, I can't buy that for some reason. Um, thieves tools, firebolt. He's I got think I can stuff. blow up this wall next to you to get to where you're at. I mean, you could, yeah, I suppose. It's that's all, yeah. Okay, so now, oh, hold on a second, actually. Mm -hmm. So this guy is not looking at me. Let's see what happens. I am the dark urge. You can move those out of the way. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. God. <laughs> he doesn't like box movers. Doesn't like box movers. It's also a barricade on the other side. <laughs> Do you see this? <gasps> the hell? It's a nice little rhythm we got going here. Dude, dude's got to chill. Let me talk to him. I'm just going to cat Don't out of here. looking for trouble. Like that, that he doesn't have any questions about. Oh. I'm gonna talk to the Steel Watcher. Yeah, yeah. They seem fine with us. We're unable to speak. Greetings. Um, yeah, very much so, thanks. Just don't move any boxes down here. That really pisses them off. Yeah. Uh, let's close this door. Wait, where's my... Where's my people? Where's your Asterian? Asterian, man? He's probably still in the sewer. Yeah, he is. He's in the sewer. I'm just gonna uh, pop up here. Prison exit. Vanra. Her name is Vanra! 
kindly lower yeah, your I'm coming voice, to join madam. the group now. Oh, we're in, um, I remember this place. Where is this? Remember you were like flying around on roofs and stuff? This is just like outside the entrance to the city. Basilisk Gate. Oh, you took the stairs? Yeah. Told you about I to okay. Uh, you wanted to try to... I'm looking at these doors. Yeah. If you came over like to this side, ish and talk to him to distract him i could maybe go in through the doors because he doesn't like that we're down hello, here i think hello it's my and all that my big uh they don't no 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 they they don't talk for long no I see it's just that. like hello hello and all that yeah they don't want me messing around at all okay so do we get out of here or do you want to try and do something with this prison let's go back maybe... to the sewers i think all right because we don't really need, have a reason to be here. Yeah, we just kind of... Maybe, maybe we'll come back here later. Get out, get here on like a tangent. It's like the entire playthrough is a weird <laughs> tangent. <laughs> well, that's kind of the way these games are, right? You... I like it. Yeah, yeah, I like it too. I love, ex I love uh, exploration. There's another one on the other side too, another little... Oh yeah. Entrance. Wouldn't it be cool if you could fly? I could jump oh, over here. Oh, here's a wall. Yeah. Break that down, Carlac. You're going to love that. <sighs> Perception <sighs> failed. I think I need a. Uh, oh, a steering camera. A, a blunt reach. weapon. Hold on. What? Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Big Jump on us so our people can get down here. Okay. Okay. Ah. There's a ladder over here. Can you move, um... Can you move Shadowheart? Or maybe I'll I move the what the next move is. Oh. Oh, damn. Ah! Onward, then. Here we go. Okay. Now wait, was there anything else in here? There's a whole staircase over here and stuff, eh? Mm hmm There's a ladder over here. I'm just gonna, I just want to see where this uh, goes. Here goes. Yeah, I want to see where all this goes. This is gonna be in the city somewhere, probably. It makes sense. Ah, this is where we uh, encountered the zombie. Oh, yeah. I was uh, charging people to beat him up. Yeah, I, I did that. Okay. Okay. Toast, toast. Perception check. Oh, that's just on the wall, I think. You want to check that other staircase, I guess? Yeah. This is just a door. No entry, no exit. That sounds like a challenge. I need a 20. I got guidance. I'll throw a cat's grace in there. 28. That'll do. I wonder if this will go into the cavern. This seems like a red... Oh, God. 1500 XP. Beneath the gate? The guild hall bar. Hey, we heard something about a guild hall. We got an inspiration for Carlac too. Enter the under cellar. This is the under cellar. Oh, Not to be confused with the under dark. Yeah. What did we learn about the guild hall? There was something. Yeah, there was the nine nine fingers guild or whatever. Remember oh, we that had that, those guys. We had yeah, that choice. Beach. On the beach. Yeah, and we helped them, and they said something about the guild will always reward. Yeah, nine fingers oh, office. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's Uktar. Uktar. Wasn't Uktar the one we talked to somewhere else? Sounds familiar. Maybe not. It's an orphanage, Uktar. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? 
Where's Uktar? I don't know. I'm looking at a wooden bed frame. And seed more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. Is he invisible? I'm not sure what we're looking at. I just have continue as well. Yeah, same. I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. <laughs> Are many children old enough if they protect? What? They're attacking an orphanage? I think he just like walked away or something. Yeah. Oh, it's the freaking earth elemental. And some of the earth elemental. They're all running away from him. But he's my friend. Yeah, well, he's gone now. Okay, so I talked to Uktar, but it was Nine Fingers Keen that was talking there. Mm -hmm. It's an orphanage, Here we go. Uktar. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they fail to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. I... We already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me? This is a private... You recall our reports of Kethrick Thorne. Okay, so General this makes much more sense now. Champion of Merkel, unkillable tyrant of Moonrise. Meet the one who killed him. How do they know that? They are the Nine Fingers. They Hi, know I'm the Dark Urge. <laughs> Whichever one My gives fame you the most me. comfort. The Guild is this city's first and last line of defense. It's only natural that we watch the gates for anyone interesting. Okay. I'd say you qualify. I already know the one thing about you that I need to. You've crossed paths with the cult's leadership before, and you're still standing. I mean to burn the Absolute from the face of my city. So if you mean to help, congratulations. We just became the best of friends. I think we like that. Always good to make new friends. Why do I need the guild? I've been doing well enough without you so far. <laughs> you have. But don't be so quick to bat away a helping hand. We find few enough of them in this city. The flaming fist can be bought. The harpers are scattered and the parliament of beers, well, they're just generally too inbred to be useful. I don't even know what the that absolutes is. absolutes at our gate. And the guild are the only ones truly standing against it. Yeah, we kind of killed the uh, harpers. <laughs> <laughs> I need information. Oh, wait. The Rivington Rats. Do we know who those are? I don't recall the Rivington Rats. We probably crossed paths, I guess, but I don't know if we addressed them at all. Sounds kind of familiar, but... I ran into some of your thugs, the Rivington Rats. Oh. Did you enjoy the encounter? They got a pay payday out of me. I don't remember this. Charitable donation to the good protectors of Rivington. Was that the tune that played you? The rats usually keep a lid on their nastier notions, but with the Stone Lord business distracting me, some are starting to test the leash. All the more reason to be rid of the cult quickly. So I can remind my crews it's not a leash round their necks if they cross me. It's a noose. Is the cult the cult of ball? It's like the stone, they're calling him the stone board or whatever, but. Well, she referenced the cult of the absolute a few times. Okay, right, 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 yeah, yeah, right, 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 of course, of course. What can I do to help you? I was planning to soften you up a bit first, but straight to business then. You've been seen with a certain harper. Gray of hair, somewhat spiky of manner. Gray of hair, Jahira? <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to drop her name, but you better not let a certain Harper hear that description. Well, let's just take into dyeing her hair. I'd call it accurate enough. 
I need to speak with her. She's still getting the lay of the land, I expect. I have information that might help with that. So, remind her to pay an old friend a visit, would you? Okay. Okay. You want to just tell me and I'll pass word? I could, but she wouldn't thank either of us for that. Trust me. Now, is there anything else you need? Info. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. Oh, damn. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Who is the stone lord that your guild that has your guild running scared? The leader of some new crew that's intent on painting my ass. If he was just another upstart who didn't like paying guild dues, fair enough. But he and his crew make no demands. Leave no survivors to pass on a message. All I know is that on every scrap of ground he takes from me, the cult of the absolute soon starts sprouting. Doesn't matter. Whatever God the prick prays to, I'll send him to meet it soon enough. Okay. How do you know so much about the cult of the absolute and its leaders? Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went nosing into the cult for myself. I could bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects, traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried out old necromancer to round huh. out the three. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Has been half gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. Okay, yeah, so she knows everything. There's more to it than just the dead three. Oh. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. Sharing some information? Yeah. Do we trust her? Like, do we to want to give her thing. this info? What um, do you think? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Huh. Huh. It seems like my intelligence on you was patchy at best. That's annoying. Annoying? What do you plan to do now that you know about the Elder Brain? I had no intention of leaving my city in the Dead Three's hands. Definitely not leaving it to some slimy shit that doesn't even have hands. So, you. as long as you can keep a lid on what's what going inside hands. you, we're allies. Until you can't, and we're not. Simple enough, I reckon. Now, war to be fought. You need anything? Ooh, leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Guess we don't need anything. So that's interesting that we didn't have uh, like a quest for that, but we definitely need to bring Jahira back here. So why don't we pop to the camp and talk to her? I reckon, I reckon we do a long rest anyways, because um, we could use one. And then we bring Jahira back. Is that cool? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. What movie is that from? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um... Yeah, what was that from? Like a kid's show, I think. Yep, 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 yep. I want to say it's something to do with, like, Coneheads. Is it Coneheads? Maybe. Does that? Uh, or Coneheads like, it's scared like, like a Sesame a Street thing? Yeah, it's... I can oh, see that. Oh, maybe it was Sesame Street, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll... All right. So he's going to stay... I'm going to go get Jahira. Man, we got a bunch of weirdos in our camp. <laughs> I like that they're all standing together. Uh, I look forward to the day we show the Archduke that his tongue is not half so silvered as he thinks. Yeah. Um, hmm. We can't pick a fight while he's surrounded by his steel watch. We could. It would just be a very short one. We yeah. cannot expect either of the Chosen to fall easily. But fall they must, if we are to have all three stones to command the brain. Still, if you see sense in making an alliance, I won't question it. I'll just look forward to the inevitable breaking Gortash spoke of. Um, let's tell her about the Nine Fingers meeting. Ah, I know what she speaks of. I need, uh, 
information from her. And a pardon from you. For I have not been overly generous with the truth. Tell me. What do you know of a man named Minsk of Rashomon? Your um, brain absolutely lurches, nothing. And He's from the first game. Squirm. Oh. A hero. An enemy most foul. And he's uh, voiced by uh, Matthew Mercer. Really? In the first game? No, no, in this or... one. In this one. Oh, he's going to be here. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, so Minsk fought with us, or Minsk fought with you against Ball before. Perhaps he can help me. He's a sworn hunter of Ball spawn. My mind is muddled, but that name sparks something. Um, That's you, Yeah, for sure. I think let's go there. Whatever blow to the head has addled your thoughts, take comfort. You and Minsk have that in common. Oh. Minsk is an old friend. Perhaps my oldest. We fought at one another's backs times beyond counting. And the last time I saw him, I left him to die. Okay, I suspect there's more to the story than that. There always is. But that is still the fundamental fact of it. Before we ever heard of this absolute, we received word of a gathering in the Undercity. What we found was the first dark seed of this plot. A circle of cultists with mind flares in their midst. We might have ended it there, cut off at the root, but before I could send for help, Mins charged in alone. It was chaos. He was overrun, dragged down beneath a mass of tentacles. I had a choice. Stay and let word of this cult die with us, or leave him and live to fight another day. Are you just wearing a, like a collar? Yeah, 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 it's fashionable here. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's tough. I'm sorry you had to make that choice. The world takes much from those who presume to defend it, but sometimes you get to take it back. So don't be sorry, because I mean to use you, if you're willing. Great. Oh. Infection, indoctrination, eradication. That has been the fate of everyone the cult has captured so far. But it has not been yours. With your help, perhaps it need not be Minsk's either. Yep, cool. Uh, why are you only telling me this now? Because I was playing the pragmatist and writing my friend off for dead. Then I met you. If I seem suddenly flush with hope and soft feeling, you have only yourself to blame. <laughs> oh, the point is moot without the means to find him. Without the Harpers, we shall have to find another path. Well, the Nine Fingers could probably help us. Nine exactly. Fingers Keen controls the guild, which in turn controls every criminal racket from Heapside to the High Hall. Nothing happens in this city that she doesn't hear of sooner or later. How hospitable she will be to a harper that comes begging to her guild hall, huh, we will find out. Perhaps I will let you do the talking. I mean, she wanted to talk to her, right? So, yeah. Uh, how are you faring without your harpers? You think me lonely? <laughs> in truth, I prefer travel in a small pack such as this. Unburdened by numbers, we're free to act rather than react. A little like the old days. So we did her a favor. With allies, every bit as peculiar. <laughs> yeah, intentionally. Give or take a few tadpoles. Um, <laughs> I'd like to hear more about those old days. Would you? In time, then. Perhaps once you found a rocking chair for me to doze off in. Just boots up the first game. Yeah. Uh, now that we're traveling together, I realize I don't know much about that you. speaks well of your taste. I've heard my share of bad ballads about things I never did. I like the little footsteps. If you have questions, ask. Just yeah. don't expect my answers to rhyme. Actually sounds like we're on a boat. Yeah, a little bit. Um, is it true you fought the dead three before? It was Baal alone we faced in our time. And bad as that was, he had no elder brain for a lapdog then. Help won't come from the history books or from any old tales I can spin you. This is your story to write. 
<laughs> there. Have I fulfilled my role as your wise and wizened elder? <laughs> Please, you're only one of those things. Don't tell me which. Against all life experience, I will choose to assume the best. Uh, I wanted to ask you ask something. It. Um... Oh boy. You fought in the Temple of Baal before. Would you be able to find it again? You speak of a battle more than a century past. Baal's minions led us through a maze in the Undercity, older than Baldur's Gate itself. We paid little mind to the path ahead, let alone how we might return, or that we would return at all. Still, the Undercity shifts. We might search down there. Or better yet, find a ballast to lead us. Like you. I mean, I guess. I need to know about ball spawn, about myself. I am no expert on the matter, despite all my experience. But if anything I know can help you resist your father, only ask it. Whoa. Uh. Jeez. Okay, well, let's start at the top. You've never known a ball spawn to go mad, have you? Not mad, no. Take Zadavok, for example. For as much carnage as he caused, there was always a cold calculation to it. Okay, so you're he not Saravok. And his bloodline was just another no. path to achieve it. You thought that? I saw that same bloodline turn to better ends than Baal ever intended for it. I thought it was a possibility. It was Baalspawn who threatened the coast and Baalspawn who saved it. It is possible to go on to live a life outside your father's shadow. Okay, so that's pretty positive. Did your friends live happily once Baal was dealt with? <laughs> Baal was but the beginning. Be warned. A god spawn draws trouble like iron to lodestone. There will be crusaders who wish to rid the world of your taint, or jealous minds who believe themselves more deserving of the power in your blood. But happiness is not beyond a Baal spawn. It simply comes at a higher cost. Constant vigilance. Okay. Ball kind of frightens me. Then you are wise. I will not mince words. If what you told me is true, you are already further under Ball's power than my old friend ever was. But, so long as you fear that power, there is hope. Fear means you are not fully mad. Not yet. Uh, was your camp bothered time and time again by a grotesque butler? <laughs> Baal had his minions, certainly. But none that watched over their wards so diligently. I wonder if past experience has taught the great god to fear that another of his children might turn against him. Okay. Did your friend ever tell you of the dreams Baal sent them? Yes. Your rancid father will try to twist your thoughts, as he did with all his children. The harder you resist, the darker your dreams become. Our camp was often roused by screams in the night back then. We learned to take them as a marker of pride. Even gods can be resisted. Did the ball spawn have children? <laughs> Did they inherit his taint? A ball spawn can sire <laughs> children, certainly. Whether they should... There are things in our nature we might unwittingly pass on, yes. But... I do not believe them stronger than the things we choose to pass on. Very wise, Jira. If you are asking whether love and joy are beyond you, just because of the taint in your blood, no. They most certainly are not. Nice. I think you They're beyond you because you're an asshole. You mentioned you know something of illithids. Yeah, <laughs> More exactly. Than I would like. In my youth, I was a brief and very much unwilling member of a colony's hive mind. I felt the way they think, saw the world as they do. Foul, unnatural creatures who find the foulness in us and twist it to their will. But then, who am I speaking to? You have far more experience than I. So she is not tadpoled, right? She is not tadpoled to my knowledge. Yeah. 
Um, who are you speaking to? Maybe I'm the parasite puppeting this body. Then, greetings, Sir Tadpole. <laughs> I was wondering where all the questions suddenly sprang from. <laughs> I got big time approvals in this conversation. As you wish. From her? Yeah. <laughs> big time. Oh, level up. Bunch of Hira and Black Portrait. Classic. Uh, yeah. So level 10, she's going to get the... So hold on a second. Choose another class and then back out of that. That might fix the portrait. Like add a class? Yeah. And then cancel? Yeah. Uh, do anything? No. But when you level up, it might fix it. Oh, okay. We'll take resistance. Because why not? Uh, so you can't be charmed or frightened by elementals and fey. Disease and poison no longer affect you. And now she can turn into that Dilophosaurus and two additional attacks after making an unarmed strike in wild shape. Oh, that's a lot of attacks. That's a lot of attacks. That's a lot of attacks. So I just had a theory while I was in there. Um, okay. okay. So we're theorizing that I might be the serial killer that's like murdering everyone. Yeah. And I'm wondering if we, uh, <laughs> the more like long rests we do, I wonder if it's possible that that more of the people that we're supposed to warn will get killed off. Right. We kind of didn't prioritize that. Eh? <laughs> yeah. And I'm thinking maybe we should do that. What do you think? Well, let's go back and talk to the nine fingers. Yeah, for sure. And then afterwards we'll go warn them. Yeah. Okay. Or you'll murder them. Right. Yeah. I guess we'll find out. We're going to, I got to go to bed here. Oh. Uno memento, four for four. There's a hookah. There's a hookah. 110. What is this math? It's weird that sometimes they try to, like, screw me out of camp supplies. Yeah. You know? Larian is uh, the greedy. They want really all those camp supplies, all that really cheese. Suspicious. Oh, something is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing a Emperor. Are dream. you doing this as well? Yeah, Emperor okay. Astral Plane. They say that home is where a person can be what their the? truest selves. Without guile. Without pretense. Shirtless. You did well to see off the Githyanki who had invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup, should you wish to experience it for yourself. I'll sing Tentacle again. We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stelmay. A story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets from you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now. Working towards a common goal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why did you resort to subterfuge at all? Maybe? Yeah. What option do you think here? Why did you resort to subterfuge at all? Okay, let's go. The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to to convince you. Makes sense. I studied you. Your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. Okay. And what did you learn? What do you think about that? Hmm. Yeah, okay. That you are complex and full of contradictions. Yeah. It was no easy task, but I had to persist. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how much I would enjoy huh. your uh... better have your pants on next time I come back. <laughs> uh -oh. I could have done with a little more coddling. 
Sometimes. Are we developing a relationship I with the Emperor? Most like we were dancing our way towards something. What do you think? I, I think he wants to feed on us. You think? Uh. So now you don't trust him? No, 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 I do. I, I do. I, I just trust him more than the other people that we're working with. Like, I don't completely yeah. trust him, but... Uh, well, uh, I don't Let's think... Let's say I enjoyed our conversations. I, I have, mean, you could say something else. I have... My options are true. You're trying to flirt with me now. Oh, I think I you misread that. the science. I'm fine with what we have now. Yeah, okay, so this is a relationship thing, because I'm saying I could have done with a little more coddling, which is, like, probably the same flirting thing. I'm going to say that. I'm going to say I think you misread the science. I'm fine with what we have now. I'm sorry. You're right. Now's not the time. He rejected me again. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Let's move on to more important things. He's like, like, my calculations are never the wrong. Like the Elder apparently. Mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the crown's magic, it has complete oh, control. Oh, no, there might be something here. each and every member. It was intelligent Oh, here before. we go. But so no. now I have the thing oh, hold on, you hold on, hold on, hold on. across the city. I think you're it ahead of me. on its way to becoming indestructible. We must stop it while we still can. Before we too become its slaves. Okay, I'm, I'm done the dream. Yeah, you were ahead of me, that's why. Uh... Because he, he says, sometimes I felt almost like we were dancing our way towards something deeper. Sometimes. I'm gonna yeah, yeah, yeah. Most like we I'm going in. Dancing our way. You know, this might be our last chance to explore the possibility. Oh boy, he's gonna Didn't chew on you, dude. That's what a deeper is relationship is. You want? Like that's that's the kind of relationship he had with uh, the dude. The back of your mind warms with a rush of feeling, the emperor's feeling, heat, care, arousal. Boner. What's happening? This is your love. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. Didn't see this coming. Yeah. What a wild game. <laughs> I don't know. Those teeth are going to cause some problems, I think. Take a tentacle in your hand. Invite it in. It's happening. It's happening. That's oh the vibrating God. one, dude. Oh, it is too. That's funny. You feel its breath merging into yours. Cold, smelling faintly of vanilla and garlic. There's no way that's its that breath. Its breathing breath quickens as you pull in close to its face. Its excitement palpable. You pause a moment as a thought occurs to you. Where is a mind flayer's mouth? It's uh, pretty obvious. Yeah, we can see it. It's gigantic a and disgusting. Stirs, diagrams in a book you read long ago. A mind flayer's mouth is underneath the tentacles. Kiss the tentacle and hope it's an erogenous appendage. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. This is so good. This is wild. <sighs> he likes it. He likes it. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love that, that this is our first, like, sexy I'm doing it. I'm just doing see. it again. He clearly liked it. What if he's like, enough? Blast me into the space. <sighs> <laughs> I wish I had the camera on right now. Dude, this <laughs> is wild. Like, my eyes are like wide open. Like, what the hell? Mind blown, romance the emperor achievement. <laughs> Dude, I was trying to romance people the whole time and I was getting rejected. I earned this. Finally, someone understands me. Accepts me for what I am.
I always think about the people that like had to uh, design this. They're probably having a great time. <laughs> yeah. I wonder who mocapped this scene. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just put these tentacles on. No. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, he's going in for a he's little got... tushy grab. <laughs> a little tail pull. Yeah. Maybe he thinks that's your erogenous zone, the tail. It is. History check. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Well, well, well. That is awesome. Where's the dragon peen? Everything you ever dreamt of and more. <laughs> A single greatest experience of your life. Wow. So many people aren't even going to see this because it's so far late into the video, you know? Pleasure upon pleasure as mind and body intertwined. It was hard to tell where thoughts ended and feelings began. Yeah, this is going to complicate things. You can read the Emperor's expression better now that you've connected on a deeper level. You know it feels the same way. Well, maybe you can sense deception if there is any. Yeah. Ooh, what is that? It seems the tadpole allowed you to share. Oh no! Would have liked with your no! <laughs> Get out of here! I protect you from the absolute, not each other. And I was distracted. <laughs> Gail's Come. like devastated, eh? It's time to get dressed. Get that little tentacle out of my face. <laughs> we have work to do. What are you talking about? You asked for like... Oh! Ooh! Hello. Illithid bum. Can I tempt you into another round? I am tempted, but it will be quite some time before I am uh, able <laughs> to do that again. And time is not on our side. This is the best man. Wow. Wow. Incredible. My shoes. Thank you. The Elder Brain's hive mind has grown to monstrous proportions. And through the crown's magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, Including your member. But now, with its hive mind established across no. the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. We must stop it while we still can, before we too become its slaves. Mind blown is right. Wow. That's fun. I did not I did not anticipate that even being a possibility. <laughs> well you kind of you kind of predicted it. Like earlier on, like last time we talked to him, you're like, is this my love interest? Well, yeah, because yeah. he was getting off the vibes, but I didn't think it would actually land. I think it's time to hit a uh, take a hit of hookah, or I'll just pick it up. Okay, great. <laughs> I kind of want to go talk to Asterion real quick and just see what he says. Well, hello. What can I do for you? Uh, nothing. What about you? <laughs> I think I have nothing to say. That's pretty funny. Oh. Always a pleasure to share a moment with you. Oh, he sounds so the sad. Way I once envisioned. What do you need of me? I'm gonna leave. Okay. Um, let's leave the camp and we'll take a break when we okay. get back there. <laughs> wow, man. Wow. Yeah, that's what an that's episode. Insane. Okay, well, uh, we'll see you guys next time. We're gonna go wash ourselves and uh should be fine. You don't even have like Bye. a bonus from that or anything? Like yeah, we should get illithid buffs. Yeah. All right, bye.